It is 620 this week. A Georgia high schooler died after suffering a head injury during a football game in Tennessee. A college player is now critically injured after taking a hard hit to his head. Yeah, as part of our Ask the Expert series in partnership with Bon Secours St. Francis Health, we sat down with a doctor who explains what parents need to know about sports and head injuries. Competitive sports are great for exercise and building kids' confidence. But like any athletic pursuit, there are risks of serious injury. Now that we have kids who are playing sports year-round and who are playing sports much more aggressively than when even we did in, in our childhood, um, it's important to have a better understanding and to protect them because they have a long life to live and they're gonna have repercussions from multiple head injuries. Dr. Wash Kaloop, a neurologist whose patients include former NFL players, says concussions can be deceptive. When you're not able to see the injury, it's hard to understand that you need time to heal. So while the damage isn't obvious, the brain is injured. The most serious symptoms include seizures, the loss of consciousness, vomiting, um, severe headaches, um, where they're completely altered and unable to focus. But symptoms can also be more subtle, and in some cases, they can become permanent. We call post-concussive syndromes that with headaches, problems sleeping, problems with attention and focus, and those problems sometimes don't go away. And she emphasizes how a series of milder blows to the head over time can cause just as much damage, if not more, than one serious injury. One of the things that I teach my kids is, um, is to be very aware of their body, know their limitations. I also explain to them that having a helmet does not mean that they're protected. And I think that that's a false sense of security. So just last month, the CDC introduced new guidelines for how to treat concussions in kids. You know, if you have questions or concerns, it's best to talk to your child's pediatrician. We want to know what health questions you have. Submit a question through our website. Just click the News tab and then click Ask the Expert.